Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about mirroring geometry. I know, I can already hear it. You've already made video about this. You've made more than one video about this, and it's true. We have talked about mirroring before. We talk about it on live streams. We've actually had an extension inspection about it. But uh, what hasn't happened is a comprehensive, here's the ways you can mirror stuff. I figured, well, we'll just make it because that's what we do. Let's talk about mirroring. Okay, so there is not a specific native command for mirroring. There's not a one, you know, end all be all command where you just click mirror and you mirror things. So there's a couple different ways to do it natively. And then I also want to touch on extensions. I want to kind of touch on everything we do for mirror uh, right here now. So uh, let's do that. So first things first. So one of the things you can do to mirror something is use rotate, right? So if I want this shape pointing the opposite direction, I could use my rotate command, come in here, click here, flip it around 180 degrees. Now it's going the other way. Now, of course, the problem with that is that I didn't actually mirror it. I rotated it. This little knob should be on the bottom and it's not. So I'm just going to hit command Z, put it back where it was. One of the options I have here is I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm going to make a copy. So I'm just going to copy that over here and I can use scale. So scale is a great tool because you can control a couple things. You can control where it's going to sit. So I can come here and a mirrored uh, item is just something that's scaled to negative one. See down here, it went to negative one. That's all I do when I scale is just drag this to negative one. And this gives me control because I can do a couple things. One thing I can do is I can hit the modifier key, option on Mac, control on Windows. And when I do that, I'm scaling about the middle. So that lets me mirror something right along the center of its geometry. The other thing I do is I can choose which axes I want to mirror along. So I just did this, this direction. So that kind of went the red direction. I can go here, I'm gonna hit Keep on option in the middle. I can go the other direction like this, or I can even go vertically like this, go negative one upside down. And any of those are mirrored versions of the originally selected geometry. So that's kind of a nice way. It's a nice option to have to do that. Um, another one, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one. I'll just erase this guy. So we're back to just one is flip along. So if I have geometry selected, I can right click it. In this case, I'm doing everything with a group, by the way. So this is just a bunch of geometry I put into a group. This is distinct geometry that you can tell which direction it's pointing and it's non-symmetrical. Um, but if I want to, I can use flip along. If I right click here and I go to the flip along command, I'll get three options. The group's gr red, the group's green, and the group's blue. So in this case, if I say group groups red here, I'm going to Let's get this big. Let's make this nice and big. So this is the red direction. It says the group's red because what it's talking about is the, the axes that are inside of here. We'll touch on that again in just one second. If I right click, flip along, group's red, it flips it this direction. I can flip it back, group's red. I want to flip along the green. And that looks like it just moved this this way because this is symmetric right here but that's what it did. It flipped it that way. So when it's saying groups red, groups green, groups blue, what it's saying is, okay, say I was to take this group right now and uh, we'll go ahead and rotate it. I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees like that. All right, now, if I say flip along groups red, it's gonna flip this direction because it's not talking about the world axis. It's not talking about the world's green or the world's red or the world's blue. It's talking about the axes inside here, which is 90 degrees to the main axes. This is one of the things that I trip up on that. And I've had to force myself to remember mirroring on the red axes means flipping it the direction of the red axes, not along the red axes, but this is something that can get you because I come in here and go, okay, I want to mirror it this way. So I'm going to mirror on red, flip along red. Wait a minute. It went this way because it's talking about this axis and not at this axis. So 
just something to be aware of that when you do go in to start flipping groups around, you will have to know what direction they're facing. So both of these are good options. Um, the downside to using flip along, of course, is like I said, you have to know the axis in the inside. The issue that you can run into with scale is if I have this, th these are all nice. This is nice, a nice boxy shape because, you know, well, because it's a box. So scaling really lends itself to this. But what happens if I have, you know, explode this geometry and then maybe we'll grab it all and rotate it like this and then then I'll make it a group. So if I go to scale now, I'm not scaling around that original geometry. So if I wanted to flip it this direction, I can't do that from outside the group now because I don't have a scale handle in the direction of this box. So just a couple more things to think about. This is where extensions come into play. So there are a handful of mirror commands out there. You can find them on uh, the warehouse. You type in mirror into 3D warehouse, you'll get a handful of them. There's some on Sketchucation as well. Um, the one that I have been using a lot lately is Curic Mirror. And here's why I like Curic Mirror. It works with raw geometry or groups. As soon as I click it, uh, it really just asks me, what do you want to mirror along? So I can come in here and I can hover and I can say, you know, I want to mirror this whole group along this face right here. And boom, it, it does that. So it doesn't matter where that face is relative to the axis, or it doesn't matter, you know, where the, the bounding box is. It doesn't really care. As soon as you pick a surface, it mirrors it to that surface. And it's really easy in here to tap option once. See a little plus next to the cursor now? That says, as I mirror, it's gonna put new versions out. Option, option. So making multiple pieces like that is super easy. The other thing that that does is, I mean, it makes it easy to do something crazy like mirror along this shape right here. What would that look like if I use this as a mirror for this group over here? Well, it would look like that. It would flip something up in the air. Super nice, super easy, quick way to use, uh, to, or quick tool to use to mirror something. So again, you can use scale, you can use flip along, and you can use extensions. And really, the choice comes down to what geometry are you gonna mirror and what's easiest for your specific use case. So again, I'm not telling you how you have to use these tools to mirror. I'm really kind of trying to present you with options. For years and years and years, I used scale. That was just the way that was easiest for me to mirror my geometry. Uh, a lot of people really like flip along and, and I've actually gotten kind of harassed a little bit for not using flip along more because uh, it is a good tool and it's native in there. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, a free extension like Curic Mirror or Mirror is a great option if you do a lot of mirroring and copying pieces and they're not simple scale flips or flip along the axes kind of mirrors. So that is it. That is comprehensive. That is all the pieces I could think to talk about while mirroring. Um, let me know if uh, you think of something else, if there's a different way to mirror, or if you have an option that you thought of that you think uh, I missed, or maybe there's something new that I didn't know about. If you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.